if you want to do business in Europe, the Netherlands is a good starting point. It's located in the heart of mainland Europe and has an excellent infrastructure. Also, the business climate in the Netherlands is reliable, strong and internationally focused. Everyone speaks English. All in all, a first-class country to start your business. Let's hear what foreign entrepreneurs have to say about the Netherlands and Dutch people. So setting up a business in the Netherlands or putting in place a company in the Netherlands is quite easy. So there's no um, massive capital requirements, uh, corporate governance structure is quite flexible and simple so you can easily tailor the group structure to your needs. Entrepreneurial. Vibrant. Energizing. Get things done. Open-minded. In your face. Cozy. Gezellig is actually the word. Talent. Uh, it's about inclusivity. Cool and progressive. Global, a global city. Well connected. Welcome, gentlemen. Good to have you here. Good to be here. <laughs> um, why did you start your business, Quicargo, here in the Netherlands? We're a logistic platform, and logistic is, uh, yeah, I can call the Netherlands the heaven of logistic. Okay. Because of the harbour, you have the uh, Schiphol, you have Rotterdam, and Venlo is a logistic big hack, so it's very good for our business. And uh, the second thing is quite a small ecosystem, and we can do uh, smaller mistakes, and we can learn quite fast uh, uh, from our uh, performance and from our uh, new uh, early adapters uh, clients. So it was very uh, smart uh, decision from our side. Now I can say that, can tell it after one and a half year. Uh, and this is the main reason. So it's a good starting point because you can test drive in a way? Yes, exactly. So uh, business-wise, uh, our uh, logistics sector is very strong uh, uh, and centralized point in, the, in Europe. And, and also the expand. ecosystem itself as a, as a business perspective in a matter of uh, uh, easy to get feedback from the market right away. This is the most important thing in, in, in when you start a business to make sure that you are uh, selling something that actually people need. So and after that, you want to expand to the rest of Europe, correct. right? Correct, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, Willem, um, you work for Startup Delta. Mm -hmm. And how does Startup Delta help startups? Well, when they come to the, to the country here, yeah, for instance, like uh, Avishai that I have worked with as a mentor, um, they come to the country and, and going to establish themselves, trying to find out how to take maximum advantage of Holland as the best place to start and grow and internationalize your business. So we're not only looking at the piece of how you're going to establish your, yourselves nationally in, in looking for funding, looking for network partners, putting them in, 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 into contact with his right uh, customers, but also looking at going across the border. So Avishai's company, Quick Cargo, is going to move, uh, come with us uh, next month to Hanover Mess in Germany to start developing the German market. And so we're only not, not looking at, at Holland as a known country. Mm. Uh, we're also looking at, as we say, as the best platform in Europe to develop your business Europe, you're on a European scale. And uh, so that's another major, major purpose of uh, Startup Delta. Okay. And can you tell us something about the Dutch infrastructure? Well, Dutch infrastructure is not, not just uh, the logistical part that Avishai is talking about, the, the roads, the harbors, and the kind of stuff that's particularly uh, very important for his business. If you're a pure tech startup, uh, a very important part is also uh, the whole uh, in, uh, uh, technological infrastructure. Amsterdam is the largest uh, internet uh, uh, network uh, point here in Western Europe, and that's why you have billions of dollars of data centers being built by big companies like Microsoft and Google in the Netherlands. So, uh, that very, very, uh, very good infrastructure, technological infrastructure, IT infrastructure, is very important as as a tool to attract foreign companies in, in the technological field. Okay. Do you agree? Yeah, I absolutely agree. But also one thing that uh, we we didn't discuss: people like. Uh, if, if you're an uh, uh, IT company, you need to uh, hire uh, high-skill uh, developers, and mm -hmm. it's easy to convince Brazilian uh, developers to join, to, uh, to come over to Amsterdam. Oh, really? Yes, it's, yeah. it's super uh, uh, yeah. nice for them, and so it's well-branded uh, uh, country and city to uh, come over, and it's super important in the uh, IT business because. Sure. There is a, a big lack of uh, developers anywhere. 
And that's, that's a very important point. But it's true. It's, it's, I mean, it's, 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 I see that every day. And this is companies from all over the world coming to this country. Young people, they really are attracted by the quality yeah. of life in Holland. And Ivy is, is experiencing that, not because they only speak Dutch. It's, it's the whole mentality, the culture. It's also the creativity mm -hmm. that they have here, the very international orientation. Ah. Everybody feels themselves home here very easily. And but you see from, this in the business climate as well, this sure. international focus. Oh, of course. I mean, this, this our tradition, and for hundreds of years has been a, that outward focus. And so what you see right now, first we had hundreds of, of large multinationals choosing Holland as a starting point for operating in Europe. Uh, now you see a, sort of a next wave in the day of, of the days of, of technology. You see all these young tech companies coming to countries not only because of the infrastructure, but also because of the quality of living that they find here, and it's, and it's international orientation, because tech business is a global business, and Holland is a very good sp spot to tap into the global business. Okay, yeah. and how would you describe the Dutch people? <laughs> <laughs> Be honest. <laughs> how honest? No, just kidding. Business perspective, uh, I was very uh, happy to see that they are really open-minded to uh, innovation, sustain sustainability. So this is one of the main uh, focus we are uh, targeting. And they're actually willing to try. And you don't need to come with a lot of track rec record. And as a startup, you don't have anything. So mm -hmm. we just called, yeah, you're my first client. You want to try and try it in other countries. So, so here, apparently, <laughs> yeah, it's worked. So that's very important if you're starting, uh, especially if it's something that's new uh, to the market. Okay. And what's and it like to do business with them? Why? Or or what's it like to do business with them? Yeah, I think people? it's quite direct. So the negotiation is also uh, good fun, but I think that Israel is, uh, we're also okay with that. So I think it's good, good, uh, match. Uh, good match in matter of... Uh, uh, negotiations and trading and, and, and very open international wise as well. Uh, English is very important because mm. sometimes you can lose things in, in language and you can cover it by, by the good uh, uh, language you can, we can have it here. And once you've done an agreement, which is not easy, but once you got one, it's actually happening. And it's not so obvious. If you do in other areas in, in the world, mm -hmm. you can sign the contract, but the execution is totally different. And surprisingly, really, uh, this is a very important uh, part. We can focus on our business because actually the ecosystem and the business is also uh, respecting ah, yes. the, the deal. So it's so they're then, reliable and yeah, they pay on time. Exactly. So yeah. all these things, it's happening. And that's let us focus in on the innovation or the, uh, the growth instead of uh, administration and all these annoying things that you need to deal mm. as a small company. So, so that's, yeah. yeah so business-wise, it's nice to work with yeah. them. But how are they on a private basis? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You can still be Just honest. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm purely honest. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, so one thing when I, I'm, I'm working hard, a lot of hours uh, per week or even weekends, but once I got my uh, free time, mm -hmm. I don't like to plan. Mm. I just take, like to do anything that I want now and just to relax. And if I'm, I got some uh, Dutch friends and I need to book one month in advance oh, yes, to drink happens. coffee or beer. Yeah. <laughs> if, yeah, so that's, that's one thing that uh, it's, I'm still catching up, trying to uh, schedule uh, my, my uh, private agenda as well. But yeah, instead of that, it's very open and uh, I think I know Amsterdam and for me, it's a very big uh, international community. So I have friends from all over the world. It's, mm. it's quite easy. And I think it's not uh, too difficult for the Dutch, the local uh, community to, to integrate because I think it's al already many years uh, this combination. So I think it's, yeah. It's but do you speak Dutch? No. <laughs> I'm trying. That's, I'm trying. I'm, I'm, uh, every Saturday, I'm canceling, unfortunately, my, my courses. But um, yeah, everyone speaks uh, perfect English, so it's very difficult. In the negative side, it's difficult for me to to uh, to learn. But in the positive side, it's easy communication. So I'm still 
working on it, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah, yeah so that's a practice. A lot of, you know, that's a practice. I, I hear that all the time, and I hear from, in Holland for like for two years, I said, when did you finally going to learn some Dutch? <laughs> and I said, I'll try to, but as soon as I try, they start speaking English to me. I can never practice. Yeah, well, but anyways, so the other thing that uh, further to what uh, Avishai is saying is Holland is a perfect place to start and grow an international mm. business. Not only do they learn to operate in a very international organization uh, oper uh, environment, but we also, as, we, as we're going to experience in Germany, even the large German companies love to work do with Dutch speak startups. Do German as well? Sure, sure, sure. And so, so they love to work with, with Dutch startups because they are so creative. You know, the Germans will think it through too long before something is going to materialize. So the Dutch are much quicker on the feet and much more creative. And, and so they learn that in Holland as well, and because that has been the tradition here. Creativity, trying out things, it's a, it's a merchant mentality to mm. try things out rather than engineer it to the end and, and never get anything accomplished. And so this whole environment of being creative and quick on your feet and trying to find new innovative ways of, of doing stuff is not only good for operating well in Holland, but you can also use that capacity to go to France, to go to Germany, countries where they are more engineering organized, where they're very strict, very regimental, and, and, and work in a more open kind of a thinking way of operating. And that's really critical in the, in the, in the world of technology. Yeah. And they speak French as well, they're German, English, French? Uh, well, you, well, I used to, but uh, I, can, I can brush it up but, uh, if necessary, but sure. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's very important. It's one of the things that, that people learn here, too, that, yes, it, it's all Europe, but it's still very distinct mm. business climates. German, uh, Germany has a very different uh, business climate than France has, and you really need to adapt to it. Mm. I think the Dutch are used to it because, you know, 70% of what we produce is going across the border. So everybody's used to these different business climates. That's also what you learn. So if you have an American company here, they really learn that, that it's not so easy. What, you, what works in Holland doesn't necessarily work in Germany or in France. So people learn how to adapt to these different, different climates, business climates. Okay, and also it's very handy that they're multilingual. Sure. Yeah, yep. okay. And um, how easy is it to start a business in the Netherlands compared to other EU companies? Uh, Actually, countries? Way, way easier. Uh, I would say the UK would be slightly easier, but it's also a way of learning the UA around here. So once you know the channel, that's why that the orange carpet is so important, because people in our network tell you how to do that, not only help you what is the right, the, the right legal form from a business, but also how I'm going to buy it, about it. And I said, we could do it online, we'll help you with it. And um, so the analysis is actually when you put all the pieces together and when you use the the orange carpet route, you'll find out that it is surprisingly easy, way quicker than starting a company in Germany or France. So, Afishai, did the Netherlands really roll out the orange carpet for you? Absolutely. It was, uh, f you, first, of course, it's a very important uh, tip, let's say, ask questions and try to understand the ecosystem before you're starting the uh, task one by one. So try to understand what you can get from the uh, parties that are involved in the, uh, uh, the uh, let's call it, uh, soft uh, lending mm -hmm. uh, in the Netherlands. And once you know who is doing what, and maybe it's easy to, to ask, uh, uh, like start the bootcamp or any other uh, accelerator that's available, who are the parties. And once you know, it will be very, uh, uh, it's, it's quite easy to get the information and help them to get the help to, uh, to process it. So yes, it's good. One, one thing to improve <laughs> is the, uh, we, I didn't know about those uh, parties that involved, uh, only after I asked questions. So maybe you can do the uh, marketing or at least the, uh, to make it more accessible for really people that are just coming and, and starting to ask the question somehow to get it uh, right away, and then it will save a lot of time for them and yeah. effort. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. Well, thank you both for all your information and for being You're here. Welcome. Well, it's fair to conclude that the Netherlands have a lot to offer to entrepreneurs who want to start, roll out, and expand their business here. The Netherlands offers you a high-quality work environment and an excellent infrastructure with an internationally-oriented English-speaking population. And, as Afishai mentioned, the Netherlands roll out the orange carpet for you as an entrepreneur. Good luck with your business.